Like, oh, Derek, cheers. Oh. It's going to be hard. Yeah. But I'm prepared to go through the storm to go to get what's his and make mine. I'm not Mr. Hill, superhuman. <laughs> I've been put down plenty of times. But keeping me there is a different story. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Damn. Everybody's got a chance in this life. I back myself every day in everything I do. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury! I'm gonna do what Usak Pulev Parker couldn't do. Knocking him out, spark out. Come December the 3rd, I just want to say this. People will not be disappointed. People know what they're getting with him, they know what they're getting with me. And it's a great British World Heavyweight title fight. Delighted to have the both of you here, guys. Um, I'm going to go to you first, Derek. So this is, a, this is a trilogy fight. The second fight, which Tyson won pretty convincingly, I'm sure you would, you, would, you would agree with that statement, was eight years ago. What do you have to do different in this fight? Mm, you know what, yeah, first of all, I have to give a shit, you know, thanks, thanks Tyson, you know, for giving me this opportunity, you know, uh, to fight here. Um, you know, is it, I'm fighting a different fighter now. I'm different as well. I think I have to use my legs more when I did the did did more in any other fights. Yeah, I get that. But I, I, I put it to you earlier. You're a you're a different fighter now, Tyson. You're not the same fighter who used to get up on his toes and move around. No. You stand and have a fight. Yeah. Does that give Derek a better opportunity in this fight? I think so. Years ago I used to box off the jab and move around and whatever. People found it very hard to hit me, but if you look at my last few fights, then people have not found it that hard to hit me. I've been on the floor. I think there was 10 knockdowns between me and Wilder in that trilogy. Um, that's a lot of knockdowns. So yeah, I, I'm obviously being hit more now than ever. Um, but then again, I'm doing more damage with my punches. So it is what it is. It's, um, I believe being a heavyweight historian, knowing all the fights that's happened in the past, anyone can beat anyone in boxing. It doesn't have to be, oh, I'm 20, 2,090 and 0. And this man's won 39 fights. It doesn't matter. It's heavyweight boxing. With small glove on. I've seen this man knock out many men before. And he's, he's seen me knock out a few as well. So anyone who lands properly will go. There's no such thing as having this unbelievable chin and, and whatever else. If you hit right, you'll go. That's it. Yeah. You talk about 10 knockdowns between you and Deontay Wilder in the last fight. You're well known to be in a lot of wars, Derek. Is that is that some? I'll ask both of you this question. Is some of the concerns you, the the wars you have, and the effect that it has on your, I suppose, your body? Nah, bro. When you, Don't when care. You, when you're a fighter, we we in the fighting game. We don't really care. This is this is what I know, and I think this is what he knows. You know, it's just one of those things. If I was a racing driver, I'd be a racing driver, but I'm a fighter, so. You can't be in half, half in, half out, bro. You have to take with the good and the bad of the sport. And this is what we're in, in it for. I uh, second what Derek says. We're, um, we know what we're getting into. <clears throat> we chose this profession. We've had lots of um, fights over the, over the career, or both of us. Um, we've had some tough ones, some easy ones, and, and some in between. I've said in many, many interviews, there is nothing else. Like, I've retired before a couple of times, but what am I going to do? Go to more, come have a coffee, sandwich, go back home, take the kids to school. I, I'm not built for that life. And like um, <clears throat> an oil lamp back in the day, when a fighter's retired, it sort of has no, no real purpose, like a, an out-of-date racehorse. A racehorse that's retired, what does it do? Just go in a field and studs other mares. And, you know, how much of that can you do? Mm. And it's just like, what else is there? You know, I really don't have any passion for boxing like I don't have any goals I don't have any like wants that I want to do like I first started in boxing I wanted to be a champion I wanted to buy my own house I wanted to make some money I wanted to come from nothing to something and the only way that I could do with no education from school was through sports and my sport was boxing similar to Derek and we sit here today look man's got 100 grand watch on and chains and diamonds and he's got a lovely house in London he's got a wife and kids he's made it very proud of him and I've made it too mm. so we sit here of adversaries and this be our third fight um, this man gave me my first opportunity on a British title and then he gave me my second opportunity on the British and European title on the final eliminator for the world title and now here's me repaying Derek 
by giving him a shot at the world title. And this is the boxing game. It's, it's clear to see there's a lot of respect between both these guys. Does that go out the window on the night? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because we entertainers, you know, um, on the night, it's different ball game. It's only, it's only after the 12 rounds or when the fight finish, when the gloves are off, it's all hugs and kisses. Mm. But I think, I think on, the, on, on, the, on the day, on the time we arrive here, on the 3rd of December, it's go time. How do you feel when Derek goes against you in, in the last couple of previous fights? Be honest, it's boxing. You know, whatever, people pick whatever. I sometimes bet on football, but, and I bet the other night on boxing, and I rarely get one right, to be fair. Like, I always back the underdogs, and I think, like, if I'm putting 50 quid on, I want, like, 5,000 return. <laughs> I don't want, like, 75 quid returning. So, like, I bet all the underdogs, and I always leave me 50 or 100 quid, so it's just like chucking money down the toilet, basically. But that, that's what it is. It's just like, you know, we do things, we get, it's a fight. But make no mistake about it. We can be friendly, we can shake hands, I can take him out for a dinner now. He can watch me have a beer because he don't drink, he's five years sober. Congratulations. However, on the night, he's going to come and smash me face in because he's been paid to do it, like I am. Yeah. Do you remember, you ever watch cowboy movies like, um, yeah. like Westerns? And you're like, got a fast gun and he's a hired gun. Well, that's what we are. We're no more than hired guns to entertain the paying customer. And if I'm wrong, then someone please tell me. Because we're not like, I don't know, we're not like some, some football player who gets a million quid a week or whatever. We like, we might fight once or twice, or if you're really busy, you might get three fights a year and you just paid to smash someone's face in or get yours smashed in for the entertainment of a crowd. And that's it. No more to be said. It's good when you're getting 20 million or plus stuff. Well, it, it could be, but it, it wasn't so good when I was getting two grand. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. but I still did it and I still enjoyed it. And you could say to me today, right, whatever you want to do in life, you can do, or you can go and be a businessman or go act in a movie or whatever. Zero interest because I love to fight and that's it. I, I used to fight for free as an amateur. Then I started getting paid small amounts to do it. Then I obviously I've made it now the big time. Thank God that I've got to the stage where I can earn a few quid out of it. And, and I still love it. I love it today as much as I did when I was 15. And I suppose I'll take this love affair with me wherever I go forever and ever and ever. And that's just the way it rolls. So what about them predictions, Derek? Were the real predictions? Did you truly believe that Wilder and White were going to beat Tyson? Everybody's got a chance in this life. Everybody's got a chance. So do you mm -hmm. back yourself in this fight? I back myself every day in everything I do. Every day, everybody's got a chance. I don't understand, you know, the problem is, in the United Kingdom, we got this thing of saying, nobody's got a chance. A couple of years ago, Leicester didn't have a chance to win the Premier League, and then suddenly, they won it. And people were shocked. They're like, if you had a bet on Leicester on this day, you'd have won 100,000. And people were like, oh, I wish I bet. But really and truly, same thing. You know, when I, when I, bet, when I bet on boxing, or sometimes I bet against him. Because you never know who's got a chance. How does this fight go? It's going to be hard, yeah. but I'm prepared to go through the storm to go to get what's his and make mine. Is a lot of people would think there's only one way for you to <clears> do and that. That is knockout. one there's way and I can guarantee you I have to knock this man out for me to win. You can't win on points? I cannot win. They're going to give it to him. I have to knock this man out. Okay. And he knows that. I have to knock him out. How do you see the fight going, Tyson? I think he's bang on right. If he's going to beat me, he has to knock me out. It's the same as everybody has to knock me out. Nobody's going to beat me on points. I throw so many punches, I throw hundreds of punches. So they can't beat me on points. They have to knock me out. Listen, anybody can knock anybody out. I'm not Mr. Superhuman. <laughs> I've been put down plenty of times. But keeping me there is a different story. If any man in this world, including Wilder, including anybody, is lacking, he will find him out and he will knock him out. And I know that. And I'm, I'm, I, like I say, every time he fights, I'm like, come on. All my kids are all Derek Chisora fans. They've grew up watching this man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, Derek Chisora. It's hard not to like him, isn't it? In this country, this man's become a folk hero. So this is why we're doing it. And it's probably going to us down in December the 3rd. And everyone's going to get wet. But it's going to be a great night of remembering boxing, isn't it? So that's how Derek 
for Derek to win, he has to knock you out. I think so. But yeah. how do you? But how do you see the fight going? How do you see it playing out? Do you knock this man out? Do you beat him on points? How does it go? We'll see. We'll see on the night. You know, he's gonna come forward looking for me, and I'm gonna come forward looking for him. So I think whoever lands the most telling punches will win the fight. And that's it. If I land one good uppercut on him, he might knock him out. If I land an uppercut, right hand, whatever. He might land a couple on me. You know, it can go either way with heavyweight boxing. Someone call a plumber. That's what I say. Ask David Price if he's around. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer to this next question. We're going to get a handshake, aren't we? There's respect Listen, here between you I respect. Boys. I respect uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll go back a long way. We started out, wow, 2011, and now we're here like the longest two people to still be professional <laughs> and still doing big fights. Yeah. Come December the 3rd, I just want to say this. People will not be disappointed. Because yeah. I know this man here is a showman. When the lights are on and the robe is on and the shorts are on, it's go time. And same as here, it's go time. There's no, there's no, I, get, I, I, guess, I guess people want to say, <laughs> what do you say? I said I'm a fat man yeah. in a pair of trunks that Ex don't fit me. Exactly, you know, that's what he calls himself, fat man, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, I can't not sell this fight with bad blood. This is going to be an amazing fight. I know for a fact what I'm bringing. And he knows what I'm bringing. I know exactly what he's bringing. You know, I need a knockout. And I will get a knockout. Yeah. Before the 12 round eats, he's going to be on his ass. Well, it's great to see the respect there's are between both you guys. Hard to believe you're actually getting ready for a fight. It's been very, very nice. Um, I, I was just thinking that, like, this <laughs> has been the most relaxed <laughs> table thing I've ever done in my life, yeah. which per very good because a relaxed fighter and someone who's not on edge around each other, they can perform to their best abilities, which I've learned from in the past. Yeah, and I think I, I would like to say personally, and I think a lot of, a lot of fight fans as well, they're, they're expecting a good fight in a big stadium. We love a stadium fight, and may the best man win. Thank you. Fair play. It's good to see you, my brother. Good man, Carl. Cheers, big man.